So on today's quick little video here, I'm going to go over how the process of using Octoprint with a Wi-Fi plug like our Easy Plugs and the Tasmoda process works. So assuming everything is set up correctly, what should happen is when you turn the plug on, the plug should turn on and your settings should allow the printer enough time to boot up. Um, a good number I found is 13 seconds. If you set this auto connect setting to low, what will happen is the Octoprint instance will try to connect before the printer is actually up and running and it can establish a connection to the printer over the USB port and then it'll shut the printer off. So the first thing to do is if you're having issues where the printer is not getting a connection and the plug is getting shut off is to up this auto connect setting um, for like printers with our EasyBoard V2, 13 seconds typically works perfectly. If you want to have a little more compatibility, just broadly set it to 20 seconds. Um, these are all the settings I run for our plugs. So you can see I have uh, auto connect checked, I have auto disconnect checked, and then I also have off on idle, as well as thermal runaway, off on error, off on disconnect, worn while printing, and the warning prompt. So these are the options I have set for plugs on our network. Now I am gonna grab the IP here of the plug so we can go ahead and, and see this here. And when I turn on the plug from Octoprint, we'll also see it turn on here on the other side. So I'm just going to leave this over here so we can have the visual there. Now, if you're having problems with Octoprint not successfully connecting to the printer, one way you can troubleshoot if it's an Octoprint issue or if it's an issue with the plug is by turning the plug on manually and seeing if it stays on. So you can see here the printer's turned on. I've toggled the plug from its web interface directly and the printer's on. Now Octoprint at this point will not auto connect to it because we've manually gone to the plug itself and turned it on. Now the reason I bring this up is if, if you have a plug that's failing, maybe it, it's shutting off on its own, you want to rule out whether it's a plug itself turning it off or if it's the Octoprint plugin uh, for Tasmoda turning it off because the way the settings are, at least the ones I showed you, I have them set like this, is if it doesn't connect to the printer within a certain amount of time, it's going to shut it off because there's something wrong, right? So under normal circumstances, you should be able to turn the plug on and the printer should be available to connect within a certain amount of seconds. And if it doesn't show up in that certain amount of seconds, we want to shut it off because there could be something wrong. Maybe there's a problem with the board. We don't know, but we want to shut it off if things are not operating correctly. Um, if for some reason, like I said, if you want to go ahead and give it more time to connect. You can adjust this auto connect setting. I found 13 seconds works for printers running our EasyBoard V2, but I have seen printers need as much as 20 seconds to start up and actually become available for Octoprint to start talking to the machine. Now, we can see the plug is staying on. We now know the plug is working. So I can, I can turn the plug off here and it shuts the printer off. Um, I can turn it on and you can see here the serial port disappeared. Is another thing you should check in, in this testing stage where you're trying to rule out if there's a octoprint issue or a plug issue is you should see a serial port when the printer is on so you can see here when i turned it on we now got a serial port uh, the other thing you want to check then is making sure you can manually connect to the printer without using the little connect button uh, to power on the plug through octoprint so i'm going to manually select the com port here and i know my printer is set to a 115-200 baud rate. Most printers use a 115-200 baud rate. Some of them do use a 250,000. Um, they do have an auto setting, which does work sometimes, but I have found some boards do not like the auto setting and you're basically gonna be choosing between 115-200 or 250,000. So if it doesn't work at the 115-200, try using 250,000. So I'm gonna see if this works. I'm gonna hit connect and see if it can establish a connection to the printer. If I go to the terminal here, you can see it's opening the serial connection and now it's established a connection to the printer. Now, at this point, if I click this, cause it still hasn't re refreshed and pulled the plug to see if it's on, it still thinks it's off. So if I click this here, it now pulls the plug and goes, oh, I'm on, okay. Now I'm gonna shut this off here and the printer will disconnect. Our COM port will disappear as well. So you can see there, the COM port's gone. Now, if everything's set up correctly on the plug side and Octoprint side, meaning the, the Tasmoda plugin, you should just be able to click the little button at the top. You, you should really never have to touch the actual like plug interface right here that's above my head. Um, you can use it for troubleshooting and just to get information. Uh, but if any, everything's set up correctly, you should never have to touch the plug directly. You just go here and turn this on. 
So remember, we have a 13 second wait. So from the time I click that little button here at the top to the time that the printer try the octoprint tries to connect to the printer is 13 seconds. So if everything's working correctly, it should do what it just did, which means I click the button at the top 13 seconds after I click that button, it's going to try to connect to the printer and you can see it has a connection now because if you're mirroring the same settings I have in the Tasmoto plugin, if I hit disconnect, you'll see the plug will shut off. See over here, the plug shut off automatically. And we want that to happen because in the event of a problem with the board, maybe the board hangs up, maybe the power supply is screwy, the printer's not running correctly and could result in a fire or something else happening. We want it to just shut the plug off and kill the power. It's, it's equivalent to you going over and unplugging the power cord from the printer. So that's all working correctly. And again, if it's set up correctly, I should be able to hit the little lightning bolt at the top here. You see the plug turned on and then 13 seconds after the plug turns on, it's going to go ahead and try to connect to the printer. You can see here my serial port already popped up. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm going to let it do its thing and it should connect to the printer any second now. You see it's detecting the serial connection and now we're operational. So now if I want to go ahead and control the printer, I can. It's all good to go. If I want to go ahead and tell it to, you know, I'm going to open a G code file here and we got the preheat plugin so I can go ahead and preheat the nozzle. Um, once it's done homing, it'll start preheating the nozzle and you should see the, uh, the wattage and the amps jump up here on the right hand side. There we go. So that's what you want to see. Now, if you're having issues where the plug is, is shutting off, Roll out the plug first by turning it on manually through the plug and just let it sit there for a couple minutes. Let's say after 30 seconds it was shutting off. Rule out if it's the plug or if it's Octoprint configuration. Because if it's Octoprint configuration, if you turn it on from the plug and don't do anything in Octoprint, the plug should stay on if everything's working correctly on the plug. So if it is working correctly on the plug, you can then move to the next step, which is trying to figure out what your Octoprint configuration is that's causing the problem. So Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video kind of walking you through what the workflow process should be, the setup of the Tasmoto plugin is with the EasyPi and the Easy Plug, and some troubleshooting steps if you are having issues getting a connection established to the printer. So, anyways, thanks for watching this little short here, and as always, happy printing!